Judith Blacklock and I've got a flower school in London. I've written 11 best-selling books. I'm the editor of a wonderful magazine called The Flower Ranger. I believe I can teach anyone. All you need is a love, a passion for flowers, and I can teach you the rest. This is a very easy and simple contemporary design that looks most effective. It looks particularly good if you perhaps have three and in a row down the centre of the table, creating good rhythm and a real joy to see. All you need is nine roses, a few apples, but alternatively you use kumquats or any other hard fruit or nuts. They all look very effective. First of all, I'm going to take water and pour it into my clean glass tank. So what I'm now going to do at the beginning, I'm going to place my apples, and these have been waxed, they are from the flower market, and they've been waxed so that they do last and last. And I'm simply going to put them in here, at the bottom. They've been washed as well because you don't want any dirt going into the water and making it look unclear. So there go the apples. You don't want too many because you're going to have to put your stems through the apples and if there are too many there, you're going to have great trouble actually getting them through and into the water. I then take my sellotape, my narrow sellotape, and you may just make sure that you haven't got any water over the rim of the container when you're pouring in your water or you'll find that it doesn't actually stick. But sellotape is great, or scotch as they call it in America, because I've got that wet, so I'm not going to use it. I'm going to cut off that end, place it there, and then just make another. So you've got two strips this way, and then I go and take two strips the other way. Now you can't get much more simple than this. Like that. So we can trim that off at the end, just to make it less um, obvious. I take these rows, now this is a beautiful, beautiful rose from Kenya, and it's called Freedom, and it will last and last. I am going to take off the leaves and measure them, and I'm going to cut, and this is an interesting point. Where the leaves have come off the stem, we call that part the node, and if you cut the stem just below the node like that, water has more difficulty getting past and into the flowering head. So when I have a choice, I will always try and cut above, and I cut at an angle, so I can simply pop them into there so it rests on the rim. One, two, and so it's going quite nice and easily through the apples and into the water. So that is, when you are cutting the, your stems, you it's always a good idea when you've got your stems, before you put them into the bin, always cut them into smaller pieces and try and use it as compost and then that's a good recycling tip. So, there we go. And these are just lovely. How to tell if a rose is fresh, you press it here, just take with your fingers and gently squeeze there. And if it's nice and firm and resilient to the touch, you know that it's got lots of life left in it and your arrangement's going to last a long time. Three more to do, so I've got my six. And then just putting them in there, through the apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then the contrast of the lime green with the red is gorgeous. They're what we call complementary colours and they set each other up to best advantage. And so there you have a very easy, quick table centrepiece that's always going to cause comment and it's got a very contemporary look about it. <laughs>